Hey everybody, thanks for uh, taking a look at this World of Tanks video, and thanks for playing World of Tanks. You know, I think light tanks are a lot of fun, and as it turns out, whenever they are a part of any team in a match of World of Tanks, they are incredibly important, especially in the early minutes, and especially after the middle of the match, when it's down to maybe a, a few vehicles on each team or something like that. They're incredibly powerful. And uh, the main thing I want to demonstrate in this video is that their power for your team is not in dealing damage primarily almost all the time. Um, most of the time instead what you want to be doing with a light tank is simply uh, identifying the locations of the enemy vehicles for your allies. Uh, and then uh, after that it, just staying alive, just moving around, staying mobile so that you don't get hit. Um, you're not there to deal damage, you're there to make the enemy vehicles visible for your allies so that your allies can deal damage, so that your allies can destroy the enemy tanks. If that doesn't sound fun to you, it might not be the best thing in the world for you to play light tanks. Light tanks are all about just driving around fast, um, using the terrain to stay safe, using your speed to stay safe, so the combination of the two, right? Using the terrain and using your speed to stay safe, and uh, yeah, um, staying alive. And uh, a lot of you guys have probably recognized whether you're able to consciously formulate the thought or not. A lot of you, lot of you guys have already recognized that um, at the end of the matches, if when you're at the end of a match, or late in the match, when it's just a uh, several few guys uh, fighting against several few guys, the team with the light tank has a huge advantage because the team with the light tank uh, is the team that knows where the enemies are at, and uh, at the same time is generally speaking able to uh, remain uh, unspotted themselves, remain untargeted themselves. Uh, I, you know, I've heard a few other, uh, you know, people, uh, you know, tankers with uh, videos on YouTube, quite a bit better at the game than I am, or at least a little bit better at the game than I am, commenting that uh, that whole, um, how to put it, the um, the interaction between like camouflage and you know cover like bushes, trees, stuff like that, the efforts, the, the, those components, those factors that contribute to staying hidden, to remaining undetected by the enemies. So those factors for camouflage, generally speaking, and the factors for spotting the enemy vehicles, being able to detect the enemy vehicles, uh, the factors that contribute to stuff like view range. The interplay between those two factors, your own camouflage, your own ability to spot the enemy vehicles, the enemy vehicles camouflage and their abilities to spot you, that interplay is probably the most important, um, probably the most fundamental to, uh, you know, which team does well, the outcome of the matches, uh, especially in these open open maps like this one here you know it might be the case that some of those close quarters uh, city maps uh, easy example ghost town it might be the case that in those maps um, these things these interplays between spotting and remaining undetected are a little bit less important at least uh, they can still play a really big factor uh, especially in the early minutes of the match and also you know in the later portions of any match especially when say um, you know it's just down to maybe the last handful or few vehicles on each team and that kind of thing in which case yeah spotting range can can, can become really important all of a sudden you're trying to remain undetected and uh, the enemy enemy light tank is, is lighting you up and uh, so the enemy team knows where you're at they know how to know how to play your position and you're just kind of there at the uh, at the mercy more or less of the enemy vehicles quite a bit 
Well, that's more or less, I think, the main thing that I wanted to point across and just kind of demonstrate that with the, with this match here. As you can see early on, there's that, uh, it was the Rover, um, Rover Tier 6 light tank that um, uh, the enemy team, it was the only, only light tank the enemy team had. It, that vehicle was destroyed relatively quickly in the match. He, I guess, did a, that, uh, whoever was playing that uh, vehicle did a, pretty decent job of spotting up a lot of our guys right away nevertheless uh, died relatively quickly and from that point forward of course wasn't really able to light up anybody on our team uh, so uh, I've been able to stay alive here so far and that's been a huge advantage to our team I've got 3195 spotting assisted damage so far here you see I'm using my view range to locate that wily uh, enemy artillery piece and I just keep, you know, he's he he knows what he's doing, and he's able to anticipate my actions pretty well. He was hoping that I would just kind of drive down that that uh, back street to his position and just give him more or less a straight on shot uh, against me at uh, at his will, at his leisure. And here I am, following him around, anticipating anticipating his maneuvers. One shot, two shots three shots and that's all to that guy and here I'm kind of just worried about the IS it's a sometimes I can be a big gun that uh, might be enough to do 463 anyway no big deal I got three thirty one ninety five spotting assisted 412 direct damage um, pretty good match for a light tank on an open field getting rid of their light tank early on and then from there like Good gosh, our, our team had a, a mobile light tank, their team had no light tank at all. Huge advantage guys, huge advantage. Um, if you're a light tank, I encourage you to take care of your hit points. There's nothing better you can do for your team than take care of your hit points and stay mobile. Stay alive, stay mobile, the spotting's going to come. You might have to be patient for a little bit, the spotting's going to come, you're going to get there. You're going to locate the enemy vehicles. You're going to make the enemy vehicles visible for your teammates. They're going to eventually shoot them. Give your allies time. They're not as mobile as you. They have those slow, lumbering heavies, right? You're just darting around, flying around over the, all over the map, getting air time over these, these ramps and things, and they're just kind of bumbling along. Give your teammates time. Give them a chance to uh, get into position. You just keep those enemy vehicles lit up for them. You keep your hit points going. Stuff's going to work out. Light tanks can be the most powerful vehicles in any match uh, when they're used to their fullest potential. Well, folks, uh, thanks for taking a look at this World of Tanks video. And thanks for playing World of Tanks.